Welcome back, Firebirds, and here we are, my favorite night of the week, Friday nights for NECC Rocket League. Tonight, we've got the Carthage White team going, to going up against the University of Northern Alabama Lions. This is actually a little bit of a rematch uh, from the playoffs of last season, where it was a very fun series. Carthage Firebirds did end up taking it in game five on zero seconds so you know there's a bit of banter going on between the teams it should be an overall great series i'm tanner lee and i'm joined by the bearded man tonight we'll be your commentators as we take you through three different matches of rocket league tonight we're going to start with carthage white we're going to move on to carthage red and rounding it out at seven o'clock will be carthage black i'm excited to be here i'm i think tonight's going to be uh, a phenomenal match a phenom phenomenal night of matches throughout all of the, ga the games we see tonight. Um, I know that the Rocket League team has been putting in a lot of work this year um, throughout every single team. We've, we've, you know, scrambled the teams a little bit. And I'm super excited. Yeah, absolutely. And here we go with game number one. Starting for the Firebirds, we do have Dwizen, Deck, and the new freshman, Tax Evader. Should be a good game. And over for the UNA Purple, we've got Cheeks, Brandy G, as well as Gallon, it looks like. And right off the gate, we got the Firebirds scoring one 15 <laughs> seconds in off of a double commit by UNA Purple. Nice little beat by Dwiz in there. And Taxivator coming in, rounding it off, finishing it up. I, I, I've seen so much from Taxivator over the past uh, couple months, and it, it definitely has made me so excited to see it. And here we are already seeing that excitement. Yeah, on to kickoff number two there. We got Deck. Winning the kickoff there, but Galleon's got a nice clear downfield. Dwizzle will take it up the wall, trying to get it around him. Successfully does so, gets another touch, which kind of throws off Tax Evader. He'll be stuck downfield with zero boost, but luckily that boost spawns right under him. He's back to 100. Deck's gonna go off the backboard. Can't quite get the double tap. Tax Evader will chase it down, take it up the wall. As uh, Deck plays a little bit of uh, mayhem in the midfield, bumping off a few people. Firebirds and the UNA Lions both seeming to settle in a little bit here. Nice save there by Cheeks. Can he recover for the second one? He cannot as Dwizen takes it and goes up 2-0. That was a beautiful play. Definitely set it up. Now Cheeks almost got that save, but Dwizen saw that opening and took it and scored our second point yeah. of the night. Only 51 seconds in. Absolutely. Firebird's looking real confident so far in their first match of the season. Now this is activation, so it works more as kind of a placement uh, tournament for all the Rocket League teams. And there's a kickoff goal by Brandy G. Uh, Firebirds kind of looks like they were just kind of sleeping on the goal line there. Nice shot there and awareness to capitalize off Tax Evader's touch. And Dwizen just not quite able to get back there. Firebirds now only up two to one. Now, as I was saying, as we go into kickoff number four here, uh, there are over 200 Rocket League teams in the entire NECC conference. And so we do about two weeks four matches per team to kind of figure out uh, exactly where they should be ranked in terms of conferences. That's a nice play by the Firebirds and they'll finish off as UNA has another double commit. Firebirds going with confidence as Dwizen passes that off to Tax Evader who hits it to the backboard and Dex got an open net and capitalized. That was beautiful to see. I think definitely showed Hopefully it was intentional that they just set up deck for that, that beautiful shot right there. Yeah, great work by the Firebirds right now. They're, they have some great spacing going on. We haven't seen a double commit by them yet. As deck goes up, he'll be beat by Galleon, but I think he got a bump. But Galleon absolutely recovering with the end one. A phenomenal double tap. I think right wow. now... I think right now both teams are really, really heavy on their offense, but their defense is kind of lacking in some ways. Um, so hopefully they can readjust and... Absolutely. They match the holes in their defense. Yeah, I think there might be, you know, some first match jitters kind of going on, which is making defense kind of uh, be a little shakier than it normally would be. Dwizen will turn on this, taking it up the wall, gets around one. Gonna get over the second one as Deck is already up for the ball. Cuts in front of uh, Tax Evader there, which is gonna leave Tax in an awkward spot, but he'll get a touch off the wall. Seeing the UNA Lions just kind of being a little bit too close to each other. I think their spacing could use some work if they hope to uh, keep this series going. Oh, and a mistouch by Dak is going to leave Tax Evader in a bit of a tough spot. As the Firebirds try to march downfield, the Cheeks will clear it right back to the orange half. A little bit of tactical fakes there by both teams. And Blizzard not quite able to recover backwards off the missed misplay. And Brandy G will capitalize. 3-3, tie ball game. That was that was interesting to see. I think Dwizen, you know, definitely 
mistimed the, and I'm, I'm, I'm not good at Rocket League, but I think something with that jump just wasn't hitting right. Yeah, I think Dwizzlin was more counting on Dex to make the touch there and was trying to move up for a more offensive possession, but uh, it just wasn't, wasn't quite there yet. And Tax Evader was still rotating back, which didn't uh, did not allow him to be at the back post to defend that uh, shot. Deck with a little bit of a dribble there. Gets a nice 50. He'll keep marking downfield. Gets past two. That's center for someone. And Cheats with a great little reaction save off of Wizen's shot. Tax Evader trying to put it back mid. It's there. And Deck will 50 it on through. Firebirds go up 4-3. We've got a seven goal game. And it's only at halftime. Halftime of, the, of this single match. We have what? Maximum four more maps to go. Yes, that's absolutely. the five series. That's the five series and activation. Another interesting thing that the NECC has introduced this year, but off the kickoff, will there be another goal? Death goes up for the tap. Can't quite get it out, and Cheeks clears it away. Uh, the NECC is uh, actually having map bans for Rocket League, <laughs> uh, oddly enough. Is that, like, viable? Is that something you can I, really do? You know, I think it's more of a mental game than anything else, as uh, some people just don't like some maps. Firebirds might be able to capitalize here. Brandy G clears it away. Uh, so we banned Starbase Arc uh, strictly off the fact that we think the map is terrible, but Dwayne's <laughs> eyesight is not the best on that map. Uh, so we actually have a pretty reasonable reason. Uh, UNA has banned Aquadome for their pick. Uh, so now the loser of each game can opt to have the map changed right after the game. Uh, there's a list of maps now. It's very interesting for a car soccer game that really doesn't have the different map shapes. So it'll be interesting to see if that really plays out to have any sort of advantage. If we start seeing losing teams start to do better after a map pick, then we know it might really just be a mental thing. But the Firebirds are able to capitalize off of the overcommits wow. by UNA Purple, and they go up by two. Tax Evader seeing that amazing opportunity, hitting it across the map into the goal. Oh, that was beautiful to see. Yeah, great little, uh, you love to see it when we uh, sink those open net shots. You know, <laughs> they seem to be the scariest thing in Rocket League. All of us feel pretty confident going up against three defenders at once, but the moment we see no one in the net, something about it. And that's a nice little give and go by Dwizen and Deck. Dwizen's gonna have a shot here. Nice demo by Deck. Luckily, Galeon is able to get back in time. That was an excellent save from Galleon there. All right, Firebirds trying to trying to take it slow now. They've been playing a lot of boomer ball there. Uh, they will be able to get it to the corner, keep it there. Deck gets a nice double 50. That's up. Galleon's about to get bumped probably by Tax Evader. But no, the Firebirds, there might have been a demo downfield, and that will be an open net that is missed by Galleon. That is heartbreaking to see. Uh, you know, I told you, they're the hardest shots in Rocket League. That's a great infield pass. If Brandy G could beat Tax Evader, but not quite able to do so. Tax on zero boost, not quite able to make much of a play there. Dwizzen will take it up the wall, give it to Dak. Cheeks will 50 it back to the orange half. We've seen a lot of back and forth, just the Firebirds are having a little more success on offense, and I think it's coming one from UNA's defensive struggles so far, as they have double committed quite a bit in this game. So there needs to be more communication by them. And then two, Dex has been doing a little bit of the bump plays, which have been working out pretty well as we approach the final 10 seconds of game number one. I think this has been a beautiful match to watch. Now, hopefully we're gonna see those last minute jitter, those first game jitters come out, or to be out of the way. Get out of the way. And match two is gonna be a lot more of a, a intense game to watch, but ultimately game one going through the Firebirds. Uh, very, very strong plays by all the Firebirds, especially the newcomer Tax Vader. Yeah, Tax that is Vader just really showing up there. First game, first game of his collegiate career, and Absolutely. already showing just how much of a powerhouse he is, and that is just so, it, it is so awesome to watch. It for sure is. You know, Tax Vader uh, filling the shoes as uh, this roster is exactly the same. Minus the senior from last year, Weathens, Peyton Weeder. It's Tax Evader filling in those shoes, trying to adopt a, a new play style, try to see how he fits in with the uh, the Carthage play style for this team, you know, and I, I think he's adjusting really well. Oh, yes, I think he's definitely um, integrated into our program flawlessly. You know, I think he, he's definitely um, definitely a, a fun person to be around, even outside of the game. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm super happy to have him here. Absolutely. And one, one thing to note in terms of stats going forward, the Firebirds had 15 shots on net as opposed to UNA's seven. 
that is very diff that is a very drastic difference in all honesty you know if, they, if that shows who is really maintaining the pressure throughout most of that match it's definitely the firebirds now you hope to see a few more of those start to sink in uh so the firebirds can really start to pull away here we got kickoff number two though going for the firebirds Britney G with a little bit of a fake to make sure that uh, his teammate can grab it. Dex going for a read off the ceiling. Not quite able to do it as Cheeks is there. Dwizen will take this. Up the wall and around because Brandy G was pre-jumping. Great awareness by Dwizen. Tax Evader now trying to go as Galleon will 50 him. Deck up for the ball. Pops it down to Tax Evader who goes off the wall trying to get it to Dwizen, but he'll take it himself. Passing it down. Dwizen should have a shot, but Cheeks reads it beforehand. You know, I'm already, I'm seeing a lot of pressure coming from uh, UNA Purple that we didn't see in that first game. I like how they're pressuring the net, they're maintaining some boost control in the midfield, and it's allowing the Firebirds to kind of have to play more of a defensive rotation. So, you know, this will be the make or break for the Firebirds, I think, in this, in this moment. It might have been the map. You know, the map could have definitely had an effect on that first one. Or do you want to you and you and you love na yeah it does seem like we'll be we'll, we'll be staying on the same map though as we are here in uh oh no actually we have transferred to champions field on me there's three maps in the game that are very similar looking, in my opinion uh that's dfh stadium manfield and champions field now uh champions field is where all the uh grand finals of the rlcs tournaments are played so it's, it's always fun to play on. The, uh, there are banners you see hanging toward the top right of the stadium. Uh, those have all the world champions uh, names on them. Uh, so it's just kind of cool to play in, uh, in this arena. Kind of a weird choice for game two, but if it works out, it works out. Taximator going for the touch. He fakes it instead and is able to get Gwiz in the score. Firebirds go up 1-0. Tax Evader doing a great job there of staying present. Throwing off UNA if anyone's trying to go for a save. Not quite able to do so. Three minutes, 24 left on the clock. Firebird's up one up. That was a risky play by Tax Vader, but also it looked awesome to do, you know? One small miss input and you're touching the ball and the ball's going out of the goal and it's not gonna end well for you, but it Absolutely. worked out perfectly there. Tax Vader though, flicking it mid. That's an open net and deck will score. Firebird's up 2-0. The cohesion of this team is just phenomenal. We are already seeing people setting each other up. It's not a every man for themselves. It is definitely they're working together as a team, setting each other up, helping each other out. Absolutely. It is exactly what you want to see at this high level play. You know, and that's kind of always been the trademark of Carthage White, uh, known as Firebird C last year, uh, is we're more of a uh, passing play kind of team where we try to just have really good positioning and rotations to keep our pressure up. You won't see a lot of solo plays out of us as, uh, you know, it just isn't our game plan. And I'm glad to see that uh, Tax is in here melting into it right very well, making it happen. We see a bit of a double commit by the Firebirds, and Galleon will capitalize off that, though. That was a good one from Galleon. I think that uh, definitely read the situation rather well. Um, so... Absolutely. That was, that was, you can't, you can't not say, you can't not admit to that. Two minutes, 48 on the clock. Plenty of time for plenty of more goals as the Firebirds hope to extend their lead and the Lions hope to catch up. Tax Evader goes off ceiling, not quite able to get the follow-up, but uh, it seems like a Lion was pre-jumping, so it won't really matter. Galleon right there with a great read off the corner, but a better save by Dwizen. That's a nice demo by Brandy G. He's going to try and pass it back to Galleon. He's going to take it up the wall instead. Firebird able to knock him off the ball, which means Tax Evader's gonna have a free clear downfield. Brandy G pops it high, Galleon will take it to the wall. Not quite the touch he was looking for, I think, and Deck will be able to put that off the backboard. And Dwindon will, Tax Evader will sink it there. Firebird's up three to one. That's the key for the Firebirds right now, you know, is they are just capitalizing off the fact that there is not really a lot of backboard defense being played by the Lions right now. That is exactly what you got to do. You got to find those weaknesses in the other team and exploit them. Nice kickoff there by uh, Dwizen to get that to deck. Firebird's already off the offensive pressure at the very start. That'll go to the backboard. And Dwizen not quite able to get there. Galleon pushing it downfield. Deck should be able to meet him as Galleon's on zero boost. That's a nice pass, though. We'll see if Brandy G can sink the shot. Deck's got a great save, though. Follow-up comes by Cheeks, and it is off. Firebirds had a bit of a double commit there. We'll hope they can recover before uh, Cheeks can get that mid again. Dwizzle will pop it over him. Now Tax will take it to the wall. Brandy G will take it right back to the corner. We're seeing a lot of uh, the corner struggle. Cheeks is going to have a shot. 
It's a little soft, so Tax will be able to get there in time. Breaking G try to keep it in for the Lions, and now we're seeing some life out of the Lions offense here. I saw a bump in net just now. We'll see if they can capitalize. Cheeks, that's over him, and that's going to be an open net if Deck can sink it. He will get demoed, but it'll still go in. Firebirds up 4-1. Oh, that was beautiful. Now, I wonder if the Lions were intentionally trying to demo there, because I think and this is my my expert opinion, I say with quotes. Um, had he not gotten demoed, maybe Lions would have been able to recover it a little bit more. You know, I think my guess here is the Lions were trying to demo before Deck could get that touch, oh. but the ball stayed rolling slowly, and they could follow up on it. That makes sense. But it is nice to see this demo game starting to come. <laughs> that was the craziest accidental team play I've ever seen between Tax Evader and Dwizen. Uh, but I believe that uh, the Lions are starting to demo more and it's starting to throw the Firebirds off just a little bit. Not a terrible amount. That's a great 50. If he's got the reset, he can get the dunk. Tax tries. Not quite able to. That was Deck will take this to the wall. Beautiful positioning by Cheeks there. Sorry about that. Absolutely it was. I heard a demo in net. The Firebirds cannot quite recover as Galleon's able to sink that shot. Great little rotational demo on, who was it? Dwiz in there to kind of throw the Firebirds off on defense. Nice capitalization by the Lions. That just shows how powerful demos can be, especially when the ball is so close to goal. Firebirds here for kickoff number seven. Uh, UNA has got a little under a minute left to recover for the rest of this game and hopefully send it to OT. Tax pops it high. Wizen will follow. Kick would get the touch as Brandy will push it downfield. That's a bump on deck. Tax will get there in 50. Tell you what, this bully ball being played right now by the Lions is starting to work out in their favor. Galleon will go off the wall. Is he searching for a teammate? No, he'll take it himself. Tax will shoot it down middle. Cheeks will put it back to the wall. Dwizen trying to clear it downfield and get some pressure going, but Cheeks will have plenty of time. Take it to the wall. Ten seconds left. The Lions need to score now to even have a chance of getting that last goal needed. But it does look like this will be it for game number two as the Firebirds go up 2-0 in the series. That was a beautiful game by the Firebirds. Now, it did, we did see the Lions definitely having a better play style than the first match. Having, uh, being able to play a little bit more defense, getting those demos in, trying to throw the Firebirds off guard. And it worked out for them a little bit more than previously. However, the Firebirds were able to still have those those better positionings, those better uh, you know team plays, and it definitely worked out for them. So hopefully the Firebirds can continue into Game Three with that awesome playing. Absolutely, I think uh, you know in in defense of the Lions, they did shut down that shot total. It is down to eight, so they cut it in half. Uh, so that's a great job by them, but they're gonna have to do just a little more if they hope to bring this back for the reverse sweep, uh, which of course we're not hoping for. Uh, <laughs> Not going to be a repeat of the Firebirds last night in Overwatch. No, it will not. As Overwatch last night won in the reverse sweep against Center College, the Colonels. Uh, I believe this earlier this week, we also had the League of Legends A team, uh, or red team, excuse me, uh, went 2-0 and in activation, as well as the black team going 1-1 and on the day. On Monday, we had Valorant go 1-1. Uh, one one. Uh, I can't quite remember the schools they played. But overall, no 0-2 teams to start off the season. Firebirds off to a great start. Again, it's just activation. They're still shaking all the uh, rust off, getting used to the new faces, getting used to the chemistry, finding their synergy. But enough of that. Here we go. We got game three for Rocket League here. Still in Champions Field. Firebirds versus the Lions. Cheeks wins the kickoff. Galleon's going to try and capitalize quick. Can't quite get a great touch. Tax will put it to the corner. Cheeks now tapping it toward mid. Deck will get a 50. It doesn't quite go in his favor. That's a nice demo on tax to kind of clear that pressure out. Gets it around one. Two to beat left. Wizen will take it next. Wizen will go off the wall. There's a little bump that's not going to allow a Firebird to go forward as Deck's now kind of on his back foot here. Going to try and take it slow. Fakes the air dribble. Gets a 50 toward mid, and that's going to be a shot opportunity if they can. But the UNA Lions just aren't there right now. They didn't have the boost to continue the aggression. Dwizen will take it to the sky. Gets a nice 50 there. Cheeks will be able to put it in the corner, though. They flee away from the Firebirds. Takes it around one. Galleon will take it next. Tax puts it toward the middle. 
as Brandy G puts it into his own corner. Dwizen doesn't want that, though. 50's it. Not a great 50, though. That's a great play. Just not quite able to capitalize as Brandy G as they had deck jumping and escaping a demo in net. Dwizen left a backup deck. That's a good rotation, uh, defensive rotation by the Firebirds. Deck will put it up high. He'll go off the wall. Is he passing? Tries to, but Galleon gets it across. Dwizen passes off mid, but Tax is going to play a more defensive approach. Galleon's going for the redirect. Can't quite get the touch. I was about to say, definitely a different game compared to the last two. It's very even. I think both teams are finally getting a feel for each other. And there's a nice little shot there by Cheeks to put the UNA Lions up 1-0. Their first lead of the series, I believe. Nice pass off the corner, and the Firebirds just not quite having those back post rotations there. Being a little caught, caught their pants down, a little awkward there in that. We'll see if they can recover now. Three minutes, 25 on the clock. They've scored more and less. Here we go with kickoff number two. Goes up and over the net. Deck will get there. Pass it off the corner. Galleon does a side flip. That's going to allow Dex to go even further. Cheeks gets kind of a touch toward the ceiling. Clinton gets demoed so Galleon can turn on this. Brandon G passes in mid. And that's a accidental own goal by the Firebirds. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm glad we got the replay because I do want to see that a little bit more. Brandy tries to pass it. Dex going for the save. Can't quite get there before Galleon and accidentally slots it top right Tommy. Uh, 86 mile an hour. Firebirds are down 2 0. You know, this is one thing I do want to see Carthage White improve on this season as it is consisting of two of the two of the same players from last season. Uh, and that's, you know, if they're up 2 0 in a series notoriously they drop game three and i think they just get too comfortable and they don't like to just finish it out with a sweep and uh i'm hoping that that's something that can start to change this season and i'm hoping it starts here and they can recover in this game one can hope in that sense but i i'm i'm, I'm confident i'm confident in our team i think we know we we have that experience under our belt for a lot of these players um to definitely change their play style in that way Absolutely. So that's a nice little dribble there by Galleon. Dwizzle will cut off the flick though. Cheeks now putting it toward net. Oh, and there's a little touch up the corner, and Dwizzle will slot it down. You know, the UNA player got stuck on the corner there, which kind of made him drive into net instead of going for the save. Unlucky happens to the best of us, and Dwizzle will take advantage and slot it bottom right. Firebirds now hoping to uh, tie this game up with two minutes left. They've cut the lead in half already. Deck will put it up. Cheeks will pop in mid, and Brandy G can't quite get the touch. Let's hope the Firebirds can capitalize. Deck gets a touch off corner, and accidentally puts it toward his own net. Tax will take it off the ceiling. Cheeks will pop it high. Brandy G up. No Firebird to meet. Deck going for the touch. Firebirds a little scrambled on defense. We'll see if they can touch it mid. Cheeks putting it up. Galleon not quite able to get the shot. Dwizen with a nice save. Tax, one to beat. Galleon able to answer. They both all turn back and see, look, UNA just kind of ends their push. We saw Deck downfield kind of cherry picking there, trying to get a pass toward mid. Dwizzle will go for another shot. It's off the corner. Tax will put it mid, and the Firebirds will capitalize, tying it up two to two. That was beautifully played by Deck there. Definitely seeing the shot. Tax Vader setting it up, just knowing, having that, that confidence that somebody will be in that main area, that midfield to support me if I launch it there. And that is exactly Absolutely. what happened. You know, and the Firebirds also worth noting, they capitalize off of another UNA double commit. Uh, for those of you wondering what a double commit is, uh, it is just when two players don't communicate well enough. Wow, and dwizzle has got some mad control over the ball. Let's see if it's a goal. Oh my gosh, what a play by the Firebirds. Oh my gosh, Dwizzin, that was so get beautiful. Get the wrong one, play. pops the second one and gets the demo so Deck can shoot it. Disgusting by Dwizen. He was the sub last year, improved immensely over the summer, and is proving to be a top player on this team. That is exactly what we want to see. It's not about who scores the goal, it's about how you score the goal. Absolutely. Firebirds now up by one with a minute left on the clock. Deck on his back feet again. You hope to see more of just a challenge there when uh, you're there, because you never really want to be reversing in Rocket League. See a double commit by the Firebirds there. We'll see if Deck can keep enough control. Nice. Nicely done. Good flicks. Firebirds, we can see them having some more confidence in their touches right now. 
Ah, uh, I say that and Dax almost <laughs> puts it in his neck. <laughs> Luckily the Firebirds get around. That's gonna be a shot by Brandy G off the backboard. Wizen will get there first. Wonderful play by the Firebirds on defense. Uh, being able to get out of there, but that's a double commit and it's gonna be capitalized on as Brandy G goes through him and ties the game up with 30 left. You can definitely see everybody is pretty much out of boost at that fight for those those two fights in that sense. So it was whoever had the most boost at the time was able to move the play in their favor. And ultimately, Brandy G coming in, having that boost definitely showed the Lions were a little bit stronger in those fights. Taximator wins the 50. It's off the corner. Dex up off the ceiling. Can't quite get the touch off the ceiling. I know what he was going for. Tries to get the double tap as Dwizzen was going. So it kind of messes up the rotations there. Wizen will put it to the side. Tax will follow it. 50s downfield. Wizen pops. Gets it over one. Brandy G is there though. Firebirds trying to just uh, win this midfield battle. We got a double commit by them. This should lead to a shot opportunity by Tax maybe on zero seconds. He puts it off the corner and puts it down. We're in overtime here in game number three. <laughs> oh, gotta get my gotta sit up in my chair for this. Oh, oh no! Oh. Firebirds almost gets scored on right off the gate. But luckily, we got Dwizen coming in to make the save. Brandy G puts that toward net again. Deck with zero boost able to get up there. He's gonna have to play a 50 now. He's not quite able to get a great one as Dwizen will have to recover here in net. That gets around him. That shot is off. Tax Evader faking it for Dwizen to shoot downfield. That's put off the wall. Tax puts it mid. Cheeks with a nice little touch to the corner. A safe place to put the ball always. Deck trying to put it mid again for a teammate. Galleon though, right there. Brandy missing the touch. Dwizen able to 50 it instead. Tax accidentally fakes it there. Gets one of the players going. That's a shot now, but Dwizen's of course there. The defensive rotations are looking to be on point. Deck going for a little play. He gets the 50. Can't quite capitalize, but the Firebirds are generating a nice little offensive pressure here. It's 50 that in and Taxivator finishes it. Firebirds wow. sweep in their first match of the season. Oh. The freshman finishes it off. Beautifully played with a 50 by Dwizen. Taxivator there. GG's to you and a purple. The very first match of his collegiate career. Weeping. Having, I don't even know. I don't know what number of goals he had in these ser this series, but like it was probably double digits. Phenomenal play. And having him not being the only scorer being able to set up his team his teammates for those goals and being able to receive those goals from his teammates the cohesion here for each of these these players is just definitely there and hopefully is able to give us the difference we need for the rest of the season i completely agree you know it was uh it was a great match overall we love the una purple guys uh ggs to them much love and we're seeing hearts all in the chat you know the, these two teams they do enjoy playing against each other and uh Overall, I'm giving my match MVP to Dwizen. Dwizen, I think, came up really clutch there, uh, especially with that solo play. He was just locking down. He seemed like the anchor for the Firebirds all game. You know, Deck and Tax doing real well on offense. We saw Dwizen get some nice dribbles. Just a great job of taking control of the ball. Oh, I, I fully agree. I think despite uh, the other guys being very strong on that offense, Dwizen being in the goal when needed, being able to stop so many goals from the Lions definitely held the team together. Um, and made the difference we needed, so. Absolutely, well, we will catch you at about six o'clock for our next match, which will be with Firebirds Red. So I'll be back, Bearded Man will be back, and we'll see you then. Then shoves that right over to the Lions half. Looks like this one's going in. Oh, are you kidding me? Don't ask. Oh, we don't over behind. We're gonna see the barrage. The barrage. Oh my gosh, Nico is just dominating right now. What a play! That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting.